Hello guys, last week on Laravel Daily we launched a new course creating CRM with filament and on this channel I had a video explaining a few first lessons of how to start with filament and how to create the first resources. This week we released a new batch of lessons, a new section in this course managing customers data with six more lessons around 5000 words and in this video I will highlight a few features that we implemented in those lessons. In this video you will learn how to create a custom action in the table in filament how to create tabs on top of table with dynamic titles and how to handle soft deletes in filament. And if you want the full course with repository and all the lessons, the link will be in the description below. Now let's go to those three tips. So the first lesson is about moving customers through pipeline stages. Those are pipeline stages on top and we will get to them in a minute. But here's a link move to stage. So in addition to edit and delete, there is a link move to stage that opens the pop-up with a form that you can fill in to move a customer to a different stage with optional note. And here's the code for that. In addition to edit action or whatever more actions you have here, you have action make, you can customize an icon and then you define the form. The form contains two fields, select and text area and then when the form is submitted you have action again with a callback function and you can do whatever you want here. In this case, we're changing the pipeline stage ID, the current stage of the customer, and then add something to a log. And then send a notification to a customer that appears in the top right corner. In the next lesson, we'll handle these tabs on top of table. So those tabs are pipeline stages that come from the database. So you can build your tabs with method get tabs by returning the array of dynamic tabs with dynamic queries however you want. Here's the code. In the list page of your resource, of your filament resource, you have tabs array and your goal is to return the tabs array and then meanwhile fill it in with whatever you want. Those tabs may be hard coded or dynamically built from the database. So we hard code this one so all customers with title and badge which means the number of customers in total and then for each of all the pipeline stages we build tabs with the key of what that tab should be called with the badge of amount of customers and what query should be representing that data in the table. So filter by pipeline stage ID. That's what makes the CRM pretty flexible as it should be because every company would customize the pipeline stages and other settings however their company needs. And the third quick lesson from the course is about restore and archive. So soft deletes is a known feature in Laravel, in Eloquent, and Filament makes it very easy to implement that in the table actions. So in the tabs that we have just discussed, we add another tab called archived. In the same code that you have just seen, we add another tabs archived with badge and query modifying only trashed. Then we have another new tab with the customers that have been soft deleted. And soft deletes are handled on the eloquent level. So if you have a delete button in filament, but you have soft deletes on eloquent level, the record would not actually be deleted. It would be just filled in with deleted add field in the database. And in the archive, we should probably implement the restore. In filament is as easy as adding restore action make. The most exciting part to me is those delete action and restore action would be automatically visible or hidden depending on whether the record is deleted or not. So we don't need to handle visible or hidden buttons. One of those will be always present and another will be always hidden. So in this case, in the case of archived, it will be only restore and in the regular table, it will be always delete. So yeah, these are three quick lessons from Filament, small features that constantly surprise me with how elegant some solutions are in Filament. So I suggest you to subscribe to my second channel, Filament Daily, where I share more of those. And in this particular course, if you want to follow three more lessons that are published, we're building customer view page with info list, including the logs of what happened during those pipeline stages. Also in the next lesson, we take care of documents and each document could have a comment. So we use repeatable for that. And finally, as every CRM, it should have some kind of custom fields similar to WordPress. So in addition to regular customer fields, you would be able to define your own like birth date, job title or whatever. So if you want to see how we implemented those, the link to the full course will be in the description below. Next week, we're planning to add the third section, 
And maybe this will be the end of the course for now. We'll see. If you have any suggestions for features, let me know in the comments or reply to the lessons themselves. You added quite a lot of suggestions already, but some of those suggestions are so big or outside of filament scope that we narrowed it down to showcasing the filament features. This is kind of a lesson for me of how to ask feedback and how to filter that in a way that the final result would be applicable to as broad audience as possible. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.